So being honest, I think if I applied this to my fitness goals a lot sooner, I would have gotten to my goals a lot quicker than I actually did. So let's go ahead and talk about applying smart to your fitness goals. So what's up, bros, bro, chachas? My name is Nike Since Since If you guys don't know, I'm a writer, podcaster, trainer, I guess a jack of all trades in the fitness game. I have my own coaching, I have guides, I have all that good stuff in the links below if you guys want to check it out. But basically, I help people achieve their dream bodies using bodybuilding style training and flexible dieting. So if you guys want to check that out, links will be in the below. But let's go ahead and talk about applying smart training to your fitness goals. I think goal setting is a must, right? If you are looking to become the best version of yourself, then that obviously at some point down the line, you have to apply some realistic goals. And I think the framework of doing smart comes into play in a big, big way. So I think one of the biggest common mistakes that people run into when obviously they're trying to lose weight, they're uh, looking to get into the gymbo, they're looking to get into the fitness journey is having goals that are, like don't align with where they're at the moment or it's way too far out of reach, right? And I was the same way too. I remember starting to work on 2018, I was the same way. I was like, dude, I wanna get ripped in like four weeks, you know, watching those ab five minute ab workouts. They're like, uh. This is how you do abs. <laughs> this is my best indication of it, but I'd be like, dude, but like I'm all set. I'm gonna get shredded. I'm gonna get leaned out in like three to four weeks. I'm all good. And when it didn't happen, I'd get like so demotivated. I'd be like, damn man, like I don't want to do this anymore. So I get that mindset of people wanting to get like quick results, but I think that's where the smart framework comes into play because that will allow you to fully be realistic and to fully allow you to kind of change that mindset and to go all in with your workout progress and your goal too when you apply this. So smart, it's like a super common, super popular uh, framework for productivity, but I think when applied to the gym, you can get some really big results like I did. So SMART stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and finally time bound. This is usually using like productivity, marketing, you know, all that good stuff when like you're trying to promote or sell something or trying to get something done really quick and on time. But when you use it in the gym, bro, dude, game changer. For example, right, instead of setting up, I want to lose 10 pounds in like the next four weeks, you can easily do something like I want to lose five pounds. That's specific. That's achievable in the next eight weeks. Boom. Measurable, time specific, and it's achievable, dude. You're hitting all the criteria of the smart framework and it's something that's doable. And once you hit that, dude, the sky's not the limit. That way you don't lose momentum. You'll keep pushing forward. So quickly getting inspired by the smart framework by these dudes who are like really good at productivity. I'm like, you know what? Let me use this for my workout journey. I have from April 2020 to November 2020, I'm going to lose 50 pounds. This is the end all be all. I'm gonna go ahead and use smart. I'm gonna go ahead and track it all out. I'm gonna do something manageable. I'm gonna lose one pound to two pounds a week and then see what happens. Man. And then little by little, I started getting more motivated. I started getting more of a push to uh, keep going on my workout journey. And I attribute it all to the smart framework. I'm like, cool, mapping my progress. So I'm just being manageable with my goals, man. That helped out significantly. So without a doubt, the smart framework played a big role in that. And nowadays when like my coaching with my clients, I use the smart framework heavily with just being able to track my client's progress. And with that framework, there's nothing but success coming your way. So finally, how can you use the smart framework to go ahead and advance your weight loss goals to finally achieve the body of your dreams? Starting with the S part of the smart framework specifics. Uh, be specific, know how much you wanna lose, know what's gonna be your goal. If you wanna lose fat, build muscle, just know what you wanna do. Measurable, have a start date, end date, know how many weeks, know how many days you're gonna be in this sport. Also know how many days, how many weeks, how much time you wanna devote yourself to it. Achievable, be realistic guys. Don't fall into a trap of being like, I wanna lose 70 pounds in like the next four weeks. Dude, like do it, <laughs> no. Be manageable, do it by a weekly process. Be like, I wanna lose half a pound, a pound a week. Baby steps or small steps do count. Relevant, make sure to stay close to your goals, guys. Whatever's relevant to your goal, just stick to it. And last but not least, time bound. You know, have like a approximate date that you want to go for. And trust me, the more you push through it, the more motivated you get, the easier the goal is going to be and the more fun it's going to be overall. And along the way, you want to adjust some things, dude, go ahead, bro. The journey's fun, though. It's all up to you guys to start it. And that's how I was able to use the smart framework to just advance my fitness journey, become the best version of myself and I had a lot of fun with it man it really was so that was the latest video guys if you guys enjoyed this video be sure don't forget to like and subscribe guys if you like this latest video if you guys want more fitness content be sure to stick around I got two more videos right here for you guys to check out as well thanks again guys for checking out the video have a badass rest of the day and remember have a badass workout as well